the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. There it is, John 3.16. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him, Jesus, might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, and neither come into the light, lest his deeds be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, and they are wrought of God. You know, when you are in your wickedness, and you are in your darkness, and you do not want anything to do with God, and you hate God, and you hide from the light, you are no better than a cockroach when the lights go on. And when the lights come on, you run. And when a man stands and sits with the Bible and preaches about Jesus, you want to run. Because you are in darkness, you are in condemnation. You thrill to have your pleasure. You do not want to do right. And you are offended when a man preaches the gospel. Because you do not want to be reproved. You don't want to care. You want to go on with life like everything's going to be hunky-dory. And when I die, it'll be okay. And it's not okay. Because when you die, you will go to heaven by Jesus Christ alone. Now before war, the Bible speaks about there's another Jesus. You may not have the holy, righteous Jesus. You may have the imitation. And the imitation Jesus is not real. It's a fake. It's a phony. It will do nothing for your soul, but damn it. You got to make sure that your salvation is written upon the Word of God, who is Jesus Christ. You got to make sure that your salvation is biblically true to the Bible, and not man in his traditions or the devil in his ways. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. That's it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Don't say you're a good person. The Bible says there's none that do it good. You cannot be something that the Bible says you are not. You're lying to yourself. You're not good enough to get to heaven without Jesus. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And when you come short of the glory of God, when you die, you will fall off into hell. You need the Lamb of God, which will take away the sin of the world. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. 
No, not one. That means you. That means me. That means all of us. You must be born again. But it's your option. It's your choice. God will not force you to be saved. God will not force you to go to heaven if you don't want to go. 